Rosa, you read? Loud and clear. You made it in one piece? All bits, present and accounted for. Rough spot for a landing point, though. Well, it's isolated, open to the sky, and close to the client's desired goal. As far as the press is concerned, it's perfect. Speaking of, I'm about to send him through. You'd better get clear. Righto. Time falls successful. I see him. How is he? <clears throat> He's fine. You'd better go check on him. Dr. Anderson? <sighs> that was something. Oh, you're Fia. Is that right? That I am. Welcome to 2024. 2024? 20, so, this is real. I'm really here. That you are. You know this place. It's the old Seagram Center, right? Or should I say that it will be the new Seagram Center? If you like. Whatever helps you make sense of it. Now go local, and we'll be on our way. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go. The Silver Flare isn't far. Dr. Anderson. Huh? I need to take point. It's for your own protection. Really? But I lived here. You didn't. I have been fully briefed. I know the way. Okay, I get it. Don't mess with the designated driver and all. After you, Agent Quinn. Well, blast it. Is there a problem? Nothing we can't handle. Agents like myself are equipped with a multi-tool for just this reason. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Is there something wrong? Oh, no, no, no problem at all. Ah, lost it. Got everything under control? Yes. Just need to touch base with my handler. Won't be a tick. Not so. I fear. By the way, how's that new sub-vocalization module working? Tickles the larynx a bit, but I'm getting used to it. Good. That means it's working. Anyway, what's up? There's no keyhole on this door. There isn't. No. Oh, must be padlocked from the outside. Didn't they think to check that before choosing this landing point? Do they ever? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll figure this out. They always do. I admit, it is... Very strange, talking like this. Oh? You know, speaking with you without moving on my lips or making any sound. I get it. But you can't deny it's useful. Besides, the brass insists. Well, I insist on a softer landing point next time. That's fine. As long as you do it sub -vocally. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Dr. Anderson? What's up? Are you sure you're all right? Just hungry. Let's get going. So, that clothing you're wearing? Pretty perfect, huh? Figured I should blend in. Blend in? I look like just another student, right? Yes. You look like any other student from this time period. Ha! <laughs> Lady, I was joking. I know what I look like, but trust me, nobody around here cares. That's New York in the 20s for you. I just wanted to indulge. It's okay, right? That is why we are here. Exactly. So, this is a bit awkward. Can't get the door open? I'm afraid not. We try to plan for everything, but... No battle plan survives first contact with the enemy, huh? <sighs> Something like that. Well, look, I think I can give you a boost over. You know, if you want. You'll need to open the door from the outside to get me out, but you can manage that, right? All right. Nothing for it. Boost me over. Man, does this take me back? <sighs> Everything okay? I'm fine. Nobody's giving me a second look. And the client? I'll check. Nuzzo, what's the timeline importance ranking of this old rag? I think it's safe to assume quite low. Hmm. Let's test that, shall we? So, 
Any ripples? No fear, the timeline did not change because you picked up a rag. If there are any ripples to be concerned about, I'll ping you. So feel free to grab as much trash off the street as you want. You're too good to me, Noz. I know. Worth a try, but no. Well, Nozo, you were right about the lock. I usually am. What do we do? We show the brass how resourceful we can be. Hurrah! The chance to prove ourselves. Again. Hmm. Does the historical record still contain an archive of old lock combinations? It contains an archive of just about anything. You just need the brand name. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Not so? Yeah, for you. Could you tell me about this client again? Joe Anderson, 64. He pioneered all the latest advances in robotic and laser surgeries. He's the reason why the average life expectancy is over 100 years old now. Ah, so his timeline importance ranking is high. One of the highest. So, where is this diner? A few blocks west of your landing point. You can't miss it. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Nozo, you're keeping an eye on Dr. Anderson, yeah? I'm monitoring him through his PFE. He's fine, for now. But I don't think the press will like that you're leaving him alone. Probably, but they'll like refunding his deposit even less. <laughs> no doubt. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Update me when you can. Now it's all mucky. Ugh. Good thing my suit is self-cleaning. There we go. You getting this, Nozo? I got it for you. the serial number, Nozzo? Yeah, I remember. Oh, hey, you did it. That I did. Wow, you're really here. It's just like I remember. The air even smells... You all right? I'm, I'm fine. Maybe giving you that boost took more out of me than I thought. Don't worry. Everyone gets a bit wobbly on their first jump. That's why we told you to eat bland food before you came. Oh, yeah, I didn't eat anything at all. Ah. Oh. I want to be hungry. That's the whole point, isn't it? Speaking of, can we get going? So, about this silver flare... My mouth is already watering. God, I miss that place. I practically lived there back in the day. Or rather, this day. The 
food was that good. You've never had a better burger. Made it with real beef. Not that chemically flavored TVP stuff we have now. Hey, you want to try one? I never ate there alone before. No reason to start now. Just an FYI, the Silver Flare is four months away from getting a D rating from the Board of Health. It serves more rats than people. Uh, I'll pass. Thanks. So you went there often, huh? Three words. Student lunch specials. Kept me fueled almost my entire sophomore year. God, can you imagine what my cholesterol levels were back then? They're bad enough now. Back then, it didn't matter. Metabolism like a pencil sharpener, that was me. <laughs> you said you lived in this area. Well, I was a student in the area for five years. Sort of the same thing. Biochemical engineering, wasn't it? You've done your research. Yeah, I owe a lot to the place. To the silver flare, then? My growling stomach says yes. Hey, uh, so what happens if you run into, you know, myself? Ah, oh, we did our due diligence. Your younger self is home for spring vacation right now. Ah, uh, so I'm back in Maine. You know what you're doing. We'd like to think so. You look at those cars. You've probably never seen cars moving in the actual street, have you? I have. Time traveler, remember? Ah, right, of course. You've probably seen horse-drawn buggies, too. On occasion. Amazing. God, there it is. The silver flare. I... Jesus, sorry. It's, it's just a restaurant. I didn't expect it. Don't worry. Take your time. Time? Huh? We have plenty of it. That is the benefit of time travel. But I don't, though, do I? Sorry? I was diagnosed with Skimane Syndrome. Did they tell you that? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. How long? They gave me six months, maybe eight. That's why I wanted to see this place. One last time. I understand, Dr. Anderson. Dr. Anderson? <laughs> Please, it's 2024. I'm 19 years old. I'm no doctor. Call me Joe. Right now, I'm just a sophomore biochem student. And my whole life I had not to mention countless late-night study burgers from this diner. Let's go in. Hey, be right with you. Sit anywhere you like. Thanks, Maddie. Uh, right. Uh. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. It's all right. Hey, Maddie. Yeah? That was amazing. Can I get a piece of blueberry pie? Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me a minute, I've just got to use, you know, the john. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Hi, Fia. Just checking in. How's it going over when? Let's see. The client has thus far consumed three burgers, a plate of chips, and a milkshake. He just ordered a slice of pie before getting up to use the toilet for the second time. But he seems satisfied? Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anyone happier. And how are you doing? Me? I'm fine. I'm a bit hungry myself now. I'm craving that curry place around the corner from work. What's it called again? Little Modi's? It's not there anymore. Oh, uh, they closed. Uh, no. It never opened. They were Paradox out of existence about five years ago. Hmm. Figures. Are you hearing that? Huh? Oh, you're kidding me! You don't think... You better go check me out. Just in case. That gate is locked, you moron. I'm counting to 30. Then you either pay up or I'm calling the cops. Joe, get back here now. Yeah, you'd better listen to her. Come on, there's no place for you to go. It was nice seeing you again, Patty. Sorry, what? Hey! Oh, you friggin' deadbeat! Where'd you get that key? Damn it. My manager's going to kill me. Fia, what's going on? You. He's your friend, right? You were sitting with him? I apologize for my... 
friend, but I need to catch up to him. You can apologize by paying his bill. Do you have any idea how much he owes us? I am aware. Will this be enough? This is more than enough. Let me go get you change. Keep it. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. I'll just go turn off the alarm. Blast it. Blast it, blast it, blast it. I really thought this would be an easy one. Fear, what happened? Joe Anderson did a runner. He did? That's odd. Odd is the word, yeah. You'd better track him. Track him? Yeah, using his PFE data. Sure, but... You can track him, right? You do know where he is. That's what I'm trying to say. He didn't go anywhere. He's right behind you, according to his PFE data. He's not here, Nozo. You sure the system is working right? It's working perfectly. Are you... Wait. I'll oh, blast it. Nozo? Nozo, what's wrong? The PFE signal's decaying. That's... bad, is it? No, it's certainly not good. Search the alley. It's gotta be around there somewhere. I told you, he ran off! Priorities, Via. Something in that alley is giving off a signal. Something that's not supposed to be in that era? Right. I get it. Sorry. And sub-vocalize. Sorry. Blast it. Blast it to hell and back, that bloody idiot. He took off his PFE, didn't he? Worse than that. He didn't just take it off. It's broken. Broken? Yeah. But... But that's impossible. There are only a handful of engineers in the world who can even open that thing, let alone break it. How many degrees does Dr. Anderson hold again? Blast it. What do we do? We find him. And then? I need to check the protocol guide. Uh, stand by. Keep looking for him. Not so. We need to have a word or two about communication. Seems to be a list of deliveries. None of this means anything to me. That should do it, for all the good it does. Damn it. I told them our vetting process was outdated. I told them we should have seen this coming. I'm the one who let him get away. It's my fault. Did you break his PFE? No. The client did that all by himself. You're not getting the blame for this. I'll make sure of that. We can work out who's to blame later. What do we do now? Okay. I've been reading the protocols, and there is a contingency plan for the situation. I'm listening. You're not gonna like it. I said I'm listening. First things first. Get back to the landing point. I'm sending you an upgrade. A present? Oh, goody. Thank me later. Just get to the construction site. I'll fill you in when you get there. Right. I'm secure. Okay. I'm relaying the upgrade over. Stand back. This may sting a little. Also, what is this? The WEG Mark IV vaporizes organic matter on contact. And you just had this upgrade lying around? Like I said, it's our contingency plan. So you want me to... Yeah. Are you sure there is no other way? I don't know. But he broke his Paradox Field Excluder. He is unsynced from our timeline. We couldn't bring him back even if we wanted to. He crossed the line, and he needs to be stopped. <sighs> don't worry. I'll get it done. Right. Good. You know how to use that weapon? I said I'll get it done. Okay. I'll be here. Touch base when you... Well, when you have something to touch base about. Good luck for you. Yeah.
Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Did you find your friend? I'm working on it. That is why I want to talk to you. Not sure how I can help, but sure. How did he get through the alley gate? Didn't you say it was locked? Shows what I know. He swiped a spare key from behind the counter. A spare key? Hidden in a pepper shaker. Been there for years. Even I'd forgotten it was there. No idea how he'd even know about that. I can't imagine. Do you know the name Joe Anderson? Joe Anderson? Biochem student in the area, around 18 years old. Oh, you mean Andy. Your friend does look a bit like him. That his grandfather or something? Or something. Well, Andy's always been a good kid. He must be worried. Can you tell me anything about Andy? Didn't you say you already know him? Not exactly. Then I'm not sure what I can tell you. He comes here a lot. We deliver to him at the Britney house sometimes. You know, the NYU dorm. It's just a few blocks away. Right. Thank you. Nose, did you get that? Yep. Sending you the address now. You deliver to Andy's door. Students, you know, they are bread and butter. And it's not like the Britney house is far, it's just a block west of here. You can't tell me anything more about Andy. Look, I'm grateful for that tip you gave me. With all the students around here, that never happens. But I really don't like gossiping about people who aren't here. He comes here a lot, and we deliver to him sometimes over at the Britney house. That's it. Thanks for your time. I need to find my friend. Sure. None of this means anything to me. Although, wait a moment. Andy A and BH. Andy Anderson and Brittany Hall. Seems likely. Bit out of practice, but I got it. Room 1407, here I come. Hmm, that's odd. The door was unlocked. And the computer is on as well. Either young Andy left for spring break in a hurry, or someone else was here before me. History is cleared every 48 hours. Not so. When did young Andy leave for spring break? Five days ago. Ah, so whatever was done here, it was done after he left. Makes the most sense, yeah. Hmm. Trash is cleared every 48 hours. So, like before, this file could only have been created after young Andy left. Or deleted after he left.
this all the archive has on Lisa Sandman? Afraid so. She died young. Poor kid. In an explosion five years from now. You think Dr. Anderson wants to prevent that? It seems plausible. But her timeline priority rating is listed as low. If he wanted to save her life, he could have, you know, asked us. It's legal, and he can afford it. You're right. It makes no sense. I'll keep digging. Excuse me. Oh, hey. What's up? Do you know a Professor Foster? You mean Rona Foster? The chem prof? Yeah, she comes in here sometimes. Super cool lady. So, this Rona Foster woman, can you tell me anything else about her? You already know she teaches chemistry, so you know as much as I do. And like I keep saying, I don't gossip about my customers. Do you know anyone named Lisa? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific than that. I believe she came here with Andy at least once. Oh yeah, I've seen them. Are those two finally together? I don't know. Well, they better be. They've been making starry eyes at each other for weeks. Can you tell me about Lisa? I told you, I don't gossip about my customers. Sorry. Thanks for your time. I need to find my friend. Sure. This Professor Foster. An explosion is going to kill some of her students five years from now. I think it's the same explosion that will kill Lisa Sandman. Nozo, can you confirm? NYU kept the names of the victims away from the press, but the dates do match up. So Dr. Anderson wants to stop Lisa from dying in the explosion? Could be. But again, the explosion is a low priority event. He could have easily applied to make this change legally and professionally. Why do all this? Dunno. There's something else going on. Do you have the address for the NYU Department of Chemistry? Everything seems to be pointing there. I probably should go see what's what. Sending your way. Are you seeing this, Nozo? I think so. Is that Lisa Sandman? It matches the photograph in young Andy's dormitory. Stand by. I'm gonna get answers. Excuse me. Ah! Sorry, I was a bit, uh, focused. Who are you? I am looking for someone. You're looking for someone? In an empty school building? It's spring break. Nobody is supposed to be here. Nobody? What about you? Well, yeah, that's because, hey, wait a minute, let me see your card. My card? Yeah, if you belong here, you'd have a school ID card. So, let me see it. Ah, well, look, Lisa, I can explain. Oh, can you? Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, blast it. It was you, wasn't it? You did this. Did what? Are you serious? If you didn't send that email, then what are you doing here? Email. Are you for real, or are you just being cute? Again, I have no idea. Right, right, fine, fine, whatever. You obviously don't belong here, but neither do I. Tell nobody I was here, and I'll do the same. What exactly are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. It looks like you're trying to pick the lock of that door. No, shut up. I'm not doing anything. You are literally doing it right now. Yeah, well, we all see what we want to see. Do you know Joe Anderson? You probably know him as Andy. Is that what this is about? Dating my lab partner? I have no idea. Since you have no idea, neither do I. So you're Andy's cluster mate? His what? Sorry, his, uh, what's the word, uh, 
girlfriend? Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. Not sure what we are yet. So about Andy? Look, I'm trying to focus here. You want me to help you? Help me get through this door. I'm looking for an older gentleman. He was wearing an NYU hat and sweatshirt. Huh. I think I would have remembered seeing someone like that. But I don't know for sure. I'm a bit distracted right now. So could you tell me about yourself? Hey, total stranger. Do I look like I want to tell you my life story? Right, right. Sorry. Well, I'll be going. Sure, whatever. She seems friendly. She's ignoring me and ignoring the rules. No wonder she and Joe Anderson get along so well. How are things from your end? I'm scanning all security camera footage and every archived photo taken in a three-mile radius of your when and location. He's been extremely careful, but if he slips up, we'll know. No ripples detected. Everything's marginal, so far. Whatever the client's doing, it hasn't set off any alarm bells yet. So Joe's cluster mate, this Lisa Sandman, any thoughts on her? Not really. The Archive had next to nothing to say about her. Just her birth date, her death date, her employment history, and little else. She lived a short, simple, and rather unremarkable life. We can't all change the world, can we? No, just with time travel. I need to gain Lisa's trust, Nozo. She won't speak to me otherwise. I think I need to help her. Do what you think is necessary. I'll keep an eye out. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. If you'll allow me. Huh? I have some experience with this sort of thing. Somehow I'm not surprised. Sure, knock yourself out. There you go. Oh, thank God. Seriously, you're a lifesaver. There, my good deed for the day. Funny you should say that. Why? Whatever you changed, it did literally nothing. So the ripples were marginal? Not marginal, non-existent. Is that unusual? Normally, no. But with a walking paradoxical anomaly on the loose, well, I'll keep monitoring. Just in case. Come on, come on, come on. Password locked. Seriously? Jeez Louise, Prof, where's the trust? Everything all right? No. Excuse me. What? What exactly is on that computer? None of your damn business. Sorry. Sorry. You helped me out. I shouldn't have snapped like that. Someone hacked into my email account and sent my prof a nasty letter under my name. I'm trying to get into her computer and delete it before she sees it, so you see why I'm freaking out a little bit here. So, what was in this email? Uh, I really, really, really don't want to say. It got really personal. Stuff I don't think is true, but maybe could be. I don't know either way. I just don't want Professor Foster to see it. Do you know, um, who could have sent this email? No clue! I'm the bottom of the totem pole around here. Why would anyone do this to me? I really need to learn more about Andy. Yeah, I get that impression. But I don't have the bandwidth to handle your questions right now. Sorry. Maybe I can help. You think you know the password? Feel free to give it a try. Well, I'll be going. Sure, whatever. For real? Sure, go ahead. Sorry, can't seem to crack it. Uh, let me keep trying.
another go. Sure, I guess. Holy crispy crap! You did it! Here, let me add that thing. Come on, come on. And deleted. Oh, that was effing close. Jesus, let's get out of here. Hey, you coming? Lisa. Yeah? You promised to speak to me about Andy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What did you want to know? Have you been clustered, uh, I mean, dating him long? Not long. Just two weeks? Or maybe one week? I'm not sure if spring break week counts. Eh, whatever. I say it counts. Two weeks! Can you tell me anything about Joe? Or Andy, rather? Um, why? You said neither of us were in trouble, right? That is correct. Neither of you are in trouble right now. Wait, is this about the roof? Because everybody does that. You shouldn't single him out. The roof? Yeah, our lab group did some atmospheric analysis tests up there. We need to be high up. And that's against the rules? Technically, yeah. We're not supposed to use that fire escape unless there's an actual fire. But do you know how many students live in a building with roof access? None in my lab group, that's for sure. Well, I won't say anything if you won't. Like I said, everybody does it. So your Andy knows about the roof as well? My Andy, huh? Yeah, he definitely knows about it. It's where we first... Hey, you know what? Never mind. Thank you, Lisa. You've been a great help. Thank you. I probably owe you my future diploma. Heck, my future, period. Your future... Of course. I'm gonna head out now. I just wanna get drunk and forget this happened. You wanna join? I'll buy. It's the least I can do. That's all right. You take care. Back at ya. Thanks again. Yeah. You're welcome. Turn around, slowly. Ah, I knew you'd find me. I mean, you had to find me. I just needed a bit of time, and that's what I got. I'd really suggest that you stop talking. Sure, sure. It doesn't really matter anyway. I did what I needed to do. You've broken every rule we have. You know that, right? I don't care. I had to save her. By her? I assume you mean Lisa. You know about Lisa? Oh, there was almost nothing in the historical archive about her. I checked many times. It's like history forgot all about her. Of course we know about her. We're very good at our jobs. Yes, that is obvious. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you through all this. I really am. But it doesn't matter now. I got her kicked out. I got her away from here. That's... That's the important thing. You hacked her email. You know about that too. Yes, it was me. She gave me her password once to grab some files when her phone died. I still remember it after all this time. Well, she'll be happy to know that her trust wasn't misplaced. You don't understand. I had to do it. Lisa died, will die, in a chemical explosion right here in this building. But not anymore. I changed it. There's no way Professor Foster will hire Lisa now. Not after she reads that email. Lisa won't be here when it happens. She'll be safe. You could have done this legally. We receive requests to save people from death all the time. Why didn't you make one yourself? You think I didn't try that? My request was rejected. Rejected? Why? Her timeline importance rating was low enough? Sure. Her life wasn't important according to your precious board of directors. Her death? No. That had to be set in stone. They couldn't take the risk that Lisa surviving wouldn't affect my life. My life and all my precious accomplishments. Your accomplishments were important, or will be. Your medical advances saved millions of lives. That's a legacy worth preserving. It must be preserved. 
And shouldn't I be the one who determines that? Why should my legacy come at the price of her life? I, I loved her, you know? We were only together for a handful of years, but my whole life, it was always her. I never stayed clustered with anyone for very long. I was always too busy. Too busy changing the world, too busy making a fortune. But none of it, not a, not a single minute of it, none of it held a candle to being with her. Whatever happens now, saving her, it was, it was worth it. You don't need to shoot. I'll go back quietly. Um, I said I'll go back quietly. This is the way it has to be, Joe. You broke your PFE. I couldn't bring you back even if I wanted to. <sighs> you see. Well, yes, that makes sense. I don't suppose you could just leave me here. I'll be dead in six months anyway. Can you at least give me that? After everything you've done, do you really think that's an option? No, I... No. I suppose it's not. Do it, then. Lisa's safe. That's all that matters. She is safe, right? Could you check that for me before you do it? There's been no change for you. Just do what you need to do. We managed to delete that email in time. We snuck into Professor Foster's office. We deleted it. It's gone. That... No. No, you didn't. We found no changes in the historical record. If history deems that she dies here, she will die here. You monster. I have to go back and try again. Get out of my way. Let me go back. Please. I'm sorry, Joe. No. You don't call me Joe. Not anymore. If me being a doctor is so important, then you call me Dr. Anderson. I really am sorry, Dr. Anderson. Spare me. Lisa is going to die. Again. This isn't right. This is evil. And you know it. If you really are sorry, you'll let me try again. You okay? I'm Dante, no so. Just tickety-boo. You think it was right to tell him? I didn't see the harm in it. You did what you had to do, Fia. Yeah. The brass is going to be happy for whatever that's worth. At least somebody will be. Ready to come home. Right. Stand by. <laughs>